what is going on you crazy fishing fanatics i'm out here on the dock and i just caught this beautiful 22 inch speck of trout on an awesome little mirrodine plastic or hard plastic and i'm gonna do a little uh i'm gonna do a little catch and cook i mean i already caught it so might as well catch it you know what i'm saying let's get into it So to fillet these guys is actually really easy. These guys are actually still alive. Is you start right here behind his fin. You go down and then you follow the, the spine along back, cut those strips off at a time. And then this is optional, but I like to cut out the belly fat like that. Um, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to show this on camera because it might get taken down, but I will catch y'all up when it is done. So there we go. Um, we got one side off, it's a little bit bloody, so I can't, I don't know if I can show that. But I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna lift handed so the fillet might not be as big. Knock both of the fillets off, I'm gonna clean up all the blood and guts, but here's what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna start right here and come around, and get the belly fat off. But this is in the, the part that I'm trying to trim out. It's these tiny little bones, the rib cage essentially on both pieces here. If now that I have taken off the two belly meat pieces, I'm gonna to toss these in just like the carcass, but I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna get some of the blood off like here and up there. And I'm gonna trim some of the fins away and some of the other scales stuff. I'm gonna kind of clean it up and I'm gonna wash it off and I'll see y'all in the kitchen. There's a bonus tip that's pretty cool. If you just pin down the tail, just pinch this down and spray, you'll actually be able to blow all the scales off so you don't have to worry about it. Here's one that I did it to, and here's one I didn't do it to. Or backwards, I mean. Here's one I didn't do it to, here's one I did it to. So, welcome to the kitchen, you fishing fanatics. Behind us, we have the gauntlet. So, we're gonna start out with all of this to season our fish. We're gonna have a little bit of oregano, a little bit of Goya adobo, all-purpose seasoning. The good old Tony Satri's Creole seasoning. We got the lemon pepper, lemon pepper, garlic and salt and pepper and a little bit of oil just to keep the fish from drying out and we're gonna come over here to a pan on like a medium like a medium high heat yeah it's nice and toasty and we're gonna put a little bit of oil put the fish in and then put all the seasoning on it So as you cook it, it kind of falls apart and gets real flaky. So we got a nice big old pile of little pieces of it. And Michael wanted to give it a try. Mm. What do you awesome. think? That's awesome. Can you explain the flavor of the gauntlet? A little spicy. Very good. Awesome. Good to hear. Flaky. Well, you heard the man. It might be a little bit spicy, so we came prepared. We got a big tall glass of milk. Let's try it for ourselves. Get a nice big old piece here. Mmm, that's really good. The garlic really complements the lemon and the um, like the the Cajun, not Cajun, the Creole seasoning. 
complements it really well. And actually, which this is really good for, just making my mouth water. <laughs> ah, big old glass of milk. Um, what this would really go well with is actually, you make some really good fish tacos out of this. Um, throw us in a tortilla with some cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, you know what I'm saying? Stuff is really good. But thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time for our Tackle Box Tuesday. You'll get to see it in the future, but this is it. Thank y'all for watching. See you later.